Hey chefs, welcome to the first edition of Chef Pete Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new product that just came out about a month ago. It's called Vault 24 by Gatorade. So Bolt 24 by Gatorade. This is a new uh, product that just came out by Gatorade. Uh, it has it's hydration with electrolytes, I should say. Uh, this flavor is strawberry lemon. Uh, there was a couple more flavors out there, but this one uh, appealed to me uh, the most the day uh, that I picked it up because I just got down with a long bike ride. Um, it does include caffeine in it. It is caffeinated. Um, they also have... Um, I can't remember the other two. I believe one is for uh, Sigma, and another one, this one is for energy, and another one is for um, like an up post workout uh, type of uh, drink. Um, so with this, I actually really like this because for one serving size, okay, it was only 80 calories. So basically all this is is a, uh, a water, uh, enhancement uh, of basically the drink basically uh, it is uh, naturally flavored which I like about it and other natural flavors so there's no uh, artificial flavoring or synthetic flavoring at all in this uh, so reviewing the uh, the label here you have a total of zero grams of trans fat or, I'm sorry the total fat is zero grams a sodium is 230 milligrams it's a ten percent is is a little little bit high. Um, I typically try to keep it in uh, under ten percent, uh, so it's a little bit on the higher side for um, for what I like. Um, total carbohydrate is twenty grams, which is great. It's only seven percent of your daily uh, daily value. So your total service is nineteen grams. Okay, that's from the natural uh, flavoring. They include uh, nineteen grams of added sugar to this 39% of your daily value. This is, and that's 39% is actually your combined total. So with this, they use uh, sugarcane, which sugarcane is actually more beneficial and healthier for the human body. And I like this because we have 60 grams of potassium, vitamin C is 90, uh, vitamin B6 is 1.7, vitamin A is 900, uh, 900 milligrams, Niacin is 16 milligrams, and uh, pantothenic uh, acid is 5 milligrams. This helps um, with the uh, building heat up in your body. So with this, it does have included caffeine in it, and the ingredients only list water, cane sugar, clarified watermelon concentrate, citric acid, sea salts, natural flavor, Absorbic acid, vitamin C, okay, caffeine, purified stevia leaf extract, li um, lysopene, lysopene, which is uh, gives it a, a better color to it, um, niacin, niacinamine, which is B, uh, the vitamin B3, beta carotene, which is vitamin A, uh, calcium pa uh, pantothenate, which is vitamin B. Um, Pyridoxine hydrochloride is vitamin B6. That's all that's in here. There's no other additives or flavorings or anything like that except for what is listed there. Um, so with this, you do get 100% of your daily value of vitamins. A and C, well, vitamins A and C and um, the five, 50 milligrams of caffeine in this. Um, so this is, this is great uh, for when you're working out because vitamin A and vitamin C is very vital uh, for energy. So you want to maintain it. You want to uh, rejuvenate them. So but something like this, typically I would um, definitely use this for uh, doing my workout. Uh, electrolytes, your electrolyte comes from the watermelon and, oh, I excuse me, uh, I said that wrong. Uh, your vitamin A and C helps with antioxidants. So it helps with it, the, basically your aging of your muscles and everything else. Uh, so your electrolyte comes from the water and the sea salt. And again, no artificial flavorings, only sweeteners or flavors. And sweeteners is cane sugar and stevia extract. Um, so 
On a scale of one to 10, one being very poor, would not recommend to a friend, to 10 being very good and highly recommend to a friend, I would rate this on a scale of one to 10. This would be a, I'm gonna go with, see this is kind of hard because this is a very good drink. I'm gonna go with a 10 out of 10 for this one because this has no fruit juice, no artificial flavorings, it's all natural, healthy for the body. Uh, I would definitely rate this a 10 out of 10 and highly recommend this to a friend. Um, again, um, money, uh, affordability, I rate this uh, a six out of 10, uh, one being poor affordability, meaning it's expensive, to 10 being inexpensive. Uh, I would rate this, um, or excuse me, one being inexpensive, 10 being expensive. Uh, I rate this as, no, I was right before. I'm losing my mind here, sorry chefs. So with that, uh, one being aff affordable, uh, not affordable, 10 being affordable. This is about a seven. This will run you about uh, $2.19 um, a bottle for this. Uh, but I highly recommend this. Uh, you probably can get it, I just picked it up at my local uh, store. You probably can pick it up at a wholesale retailer uh, like a BJ's or Costco for cheaper in bulk, but I haven't seen these on the shelf there yet. Uh, same thing with the buy, the buy waters uh, that I really loved that came out back in junior year of high school, I believe. Uh, so that's about six years ago now. Uh, I was looking for it all over the place. I was looking for it in the store. I was looking for it in the uh, in, in the supermarkets. I was looking for it in the wholesale uh, stores. It came out, the, it, I, I, it, the last place it was was in the wholesale that I saw that. So it is going to take a little bit for them to get on the shelves in the, in the, the big box stores uh, like BJ's or Costco's, uh, wholesalers. And so with that being said, chefs, uh, this, is the, this is going to be a new series of uh, Chef Pete reviews. And with this series, you will see any type of review regarding from drinks to food to local restaurants um, to in the area or just in general that I've tried out. And I will rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. And um, forward it over to you guys just to kind of spread the word around a little bit more. And also, too, um, another kind of a segment of the show was uh, if I went and tried out a restaurant or anything like that, we would do a review on that restaurant. Or we would do, we would do a review on that uh, a food item, which I wanted to incorporate into the show a little bit more. Uh, unfortunately, um, with that um, falling through the cracks a little bit, uh, I will be doing a Chef Pete Reviews series here on the Chef Iron channel. That being, with that being said, chefs, thank you for joining me uh, today for this little review, and I'll catch you chefs on my next video. Hey chefs, don't forget to hop on over to the official Chef Hour store where you can get your Chef Hour radio merchandise. Chef Hour news merchandise is still to come, and you can even check out our old uh, Chef's Hour merchandise that we had back on air at 107.9 WRML pretty cool logo there so don't forget to go check that out link will be in the description and keep uh, stopping in and checking back soon because there is more uh, merchandise to come if you purchase today to april 30th you'll be able to receive a 25 percent discount off with just home chef 25 as your promo code at checkout again that promo code is home chef 25 i'll catch you chefs later